Hello. Good morning. I hope you all are doing well. Okay, today we're going to look at Nkowaha. Nkowaha means adjectives. Nkowaha. Now, adjectives are used to describe nouns in sentences. Adjectives are used to describe nouns in sentences. Now, examples of adjectives in Igbo, we have Ogologo. Ogologo is tall, we use it for humans. Then we have Ogologo again, which is long, that's for objects. Then we have Mpompo, short. Joronjo, ugly. Buribu, fat. Girigiri, slim. Ocha, fair. Oji, dark. Obere, small. Nuku, big. Marama, beautiful or handsome. Mma, mma means good and it ends sentences. Then Ezibo also means good but it does not end sentences. Njo means bad and it ends sentences. Ajo means bad or wicked. It does not end sentences. When we are making the sentences, you understand the implication of what I just said. Okay, so let's take note of this. While making sentences with adjectives in Igbo, is means the. Very important. However, it is applicable when the sentence ends with the adjective. If the sentence ends with a noun, is will mean bo. Take note. If the sentence ends with an adjective, is means de. But if it ends with a noun, it is means bo. Also, there are some adjectives which does not need either de or bo. They do not need it at all. But are written the way they are in the sentence. Example, maramma, joronjo, Buribu, Torogologo. You will see the examples when we make sentences with them. Now let's look at this. Amaka Torogologo. Amaka is tall. Maho Diogologo. The cutlass is long. Hading Bumbu. They are short. Wanyaho Joronjo. The woman is ugly. Kule Maramma. Kunle is handsome. Adobe Maramma. Adobe is beautiful. Cynthia, the Giri Giri. Cynthia is slim. Musa Buribu. Musa is fat. She is fair. Odiocha. He is dark. Odioji. Ola Hudinuku. The house is big. Amanda, the obere. Amanda is small. Oza Hodima. The road is good. Chikebu Ezibomadu. Chike is a good person. Woka Hodinjo. The man is bad. Obaja Madu. She's a bad person. So you can see that Ezibo. Is used for chike, chike, baseball, mado. And you say chike is a good person. So we use bo for is because the sentence did not end with an adjective. But where we have oza hodemma, oza hodemma, we use d for is because the adjective ends the sentence. The same thing goes for woka hodenjo. The adjective ends the sentence, so is meant meant the in it. While obajom madu, the adjective uh, the is there means bo. Why? Because the adjective did not end the sentence. So that's what we can take for nkowaha today. Now you go through your own. Use this adjective to make sentences. Like I always say, don't just make it, practice it. Buribu, 
giri giri maramma obere mpompo dalulu